Hi, welcome to the Capital Region Skinny, brought to you by the Greater Capital Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. The economy is improving, unemployment is falling, and the U.S. real estate market remains strong as we head into the holiday season, a period when activity typically slows as people take time to travel, celebrate, and spend time with loved ones. Although the market is not as frenetic as was seen earlier this year, buyer demand is high, bolstered by attractive mortgage rates and a low supply of inventory. Pending sales decreased 14.8% from November 2020 to 935 for the month. Closed sales decreased 13.1% from November 2020 to 1,276 for the month. While the decrease in closed sales may appear to be steep, keep in mind that 2020 as a whole was an unprecedented year for the real estate industry. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 10.4% to $265,000. There's no indication that prices will ease in the near future, as inventory is expected to remain thin. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 23.5% to 2,506 units. Inventory continues to trend downward, as has been the case for quite some time, as current homeowners are quite comfortable in their current homes. Month supply of inventory was down 22.2% since last year at 2.1 months. Percent of original list price received at sale rose to 98.8% since last year. The most recent data from the National Association of Realtors reports the median single-family existing home sales price rose 16% in the third quarter of this year to $363,700, with all four regions of the country experiencing double-digit price growth. In new construction, builder confidence increased in November, surpassing analyst expectations and rising to 83 on the National Association of Home Builders' Wells Fargo Housing Market Index, the highest level since spring, despite persistent labor and supply chain challenges and a shortage of available lots. That's the Capital Region Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.